Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week we bring you practice interviews, quizzes, resources, and the latest news that helps you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. Today we're going to listen to a citizenship quiz in honor of the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is the ninth month in the Islamic calendar and is observed by all Muslims as a month of prayer and fasting to commemorate the first revelation of the Quran to Muhammad. The following quiz is composed of 14 facts from Muslim American history, paired with 14 civics questions from the U.S. CIS 100 questions. Listen to each question, then say the answer out loud. Check the show notes for the answer. This quiz is dedicated to five of Muhammad's faithful daughters, Maniri from Bosnia, Taslim Humariaf and Kalsum from Pakistan, and Muni from India. As a teacher and as a devout Roman Catholic, I have been very impressed by the love and faithfulness of these women. Let's get started. Question 1. One of the first documented Muslims in North America was Anthony Jason Van Sali, a merchant of mixed Dutch and Moore descent, who settled in the New Netherlands, modern New York, in the 17th century. Question. There are 13 original states. Name three. Question 2. Enlistment records show that several Muslims served in the Continental Army, most notably Yusuf ben Ali and Bampali Muhammad. Question. Why did the colonists fight the British? Question 3. In 1777, Morocco became the first country to recognize the United States as an independent nation. Relations were formalized with the Moroccan-American Treaty of Friendship in 1786. Question. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Question 4. During the negotiation and follow-up to the Moroccan-American Treaty, Sultan Mohammed bin Abdallah maintained a correspondence with the first U.S. president. Question. Who was the first president? Question 5. The Virginia Statute for the Establishing of Religious Freedom was drafted by Thomas Jefferson and adopted in 1786. The Virginia legislature rejected the effort to limit the statute and said that the bill protected the Jew and the Gentile, the Christian and the Mohammedan. This statute was the forerunner of the Establishment Clause and the Free Exercise Clause of the First Amendment. Question. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Question 6. In 1803, Balali Muhammad, a Fula Muslim from Timbo Futa Jalon, was enslaved and taken to Sapelo Island, Georgia. Question. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Question 7. Although he was a slave, Balali became the Iman, the religious leader, for the slave community on Sapelo Island. During the War of 1812, he led the slaves to protect their master's property from British attack. Question. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Question 8. Balali wore a fez and a kaftan, prayed five times a day, observed the Muslim feasts, and fasted during the month of Ramadan. 
In 1829, he authored a 13-page document on Islamic law in Arabic known as the Balali document. Question. What is the rule of law? Question 9. Nicholas Said, formerly enslaved to an Arab master, came to the United States in 1860 and found a teaching job in Detroit. In 1863, Said enlisted in the 55th Massachusetts Color Regiment in the Union Army and rose to the rank of sergeant. Question. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Question 10. Mohammed Alexander Russell Webb, the United States Consul to the Philippines, converted to Islam in 1888. He is considered by historians to be the earliest prominent Anglo-American Muslim convert. He was the only person representing Islam at the first Parliament for World's Religions in Chicago, 1893. Question. What is freedom of religion? Question 11. In 1906, the Bosnian Muslims in Chicago, Illinois, started a benevolent society, the longest-lasting incorporated Muslim community group in the United States. Question. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Question 12. During the Great Depression, the first building built specifically to be a mosque in America was raised in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. After World War II, a mosque was established in Dearborn, Michigan, home to the largest Arab American population in the United States. Question. Who was the president during the Great Depression and World War II? Question 13. Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali raged against society until they found peace in Islam. They dedicated their lives to fighting for justice and against oppression. Question. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Question 14. In 2007, Keith Ellison was the first Muslim elected to Congress. Question. Name your U.S. representative. Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com where you will find citizenship resources for the month of Ramadan in English, Arabic, Farsi, Urdu, and links to civics resources in other languages. Thanks for listening. I know you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.